there are a lot of decentralized platforms that we can use and some that have been very popular in the last couple of years that are not so popular this year. I'm referring to platforms like PancakeSwap, Trader Joe, Wagyu Swap. But there's one decentralized platform that I have personally never really used that has been gaining my interest. And I think that I'm going to convert over to use that platform above all the others. And that platform is Uniswap. Uniswap is a project that is still among the top 100 crypto. It is top 22, has been in the top 20 before, and the token is currently trading at a price of $5.05. But there are some things that Uniswap has been doing to prepare itself for the next bull run that I have seen that other decentralized platforms have not been doing. And I personally like to try to spread my investments around all cryptos. And I do have certain investments in decentralized platforms and their tokens. And none of them are in Uniswap, but I think all that is going to change. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about Uniswap. We're going to talk about where the price is today, where the price has been, how that compares to other popular decentralized platforms like PancakeSwap. And we're also going to talk about how Uniswap has decided not to charge fees to the LP providers. So we have uh, quite a few things to cover today, but I'll try to make it a short video. If you like content like this, you'll like to see other videos that has to do with Uniswap. I plan on doing a whole tutorial this weekend on how to use Uniswap. So if you would like to watch that video, or if you would like to watch content that has to do with other cryptos and other crypto projects, please don't forget to hit like, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification button so I can let you know when I drop the next one. All right, so here we are looking at Uniswap. As you can see, it has a small price bump today. It is currently trading at around $5.05. Now, if we look at the past monthly chart, you can see that essentially has been trading around this $5 to $5.70 price mark. Currently, now we are trading more towards that bottom. And if we look at the last year, you can see that we are just slightly above where we was a whole year ago. So essentially, Uniswap has been trading sideways. Before I talk more about the price movement and I compare it to PancakeSwap and all that, I first want to talk about what's been going on with Uniswap and how they decide not to charge fees to their liquidity providers. So let's learn a little bit more about what's been going on. The Uniswap decentralized exchange has decided not to charge protocol fees to its liquidity providers who are the ones who supply crypto assets for trading. According to the official webpage of the proposal, the vote was very close with 45.32% of Uni token holders voting against any fee and 42.32% voting for a fee of 20% of the swap revenue. The remaining votes were split among other fee options. The proposal was only preliminary survey and may be revised in the future. Uniswap is a DEX that allows users to trade crypto assets without anybody getting in the way. It charges a fee of 0.01% to 1% per swap depending on the pool and this fee goes entirely to the LPs to the liquid providers. The Uni token holders who are supposed to govern the protocol do not receive any share of this fee. The proposal aimed to change this by enabling a fee switch that would divert a portion of the swap revenue to the Uniswap Decentralized Autonomous Organization, known as a DAO. The supporters of the proposal argue that Uniswap has grown enough to afford charging a protocol fee and that this will generate significant revenue for the Uniswap DAO. They also claim that Uniswap will still be competitive and attractive for LPs compared to other exchanges like Coinbase and Binance. The opponents of the proposal raise concerns about the tax and regulatory implications of receiving protocol fees for Uni holders. They suggested that Uniswap should either become a legal entity or develop a decentralized mechanism to distribute the fees directly to Uni holders who are performing work for the DAO. Now, obviously, we have a bunch of greedy liquidity providers that do not want to give up any fees to the DAO, but I'm sure that that would change with time. And I'm just kidding. Obviously, they're not greedy. They're putting up their money and they deserve their fees. But obviously, if we're seeing some type of push for there to be a fee for the DAO, that's going to happen very soon. I mean, they have to get paid in certain ways, especially if the project is doing very well. But obviously, Uniswap is focused on giving the best of the liquidity providers so that they don't go to other parties in other places. Now, let's get back to the Uniswap price. And I want us to look at the historical price going back about two years. As you can see, Uniswap has reached a top price of $43. Right now, we are at 5 bucks. We're talking about 8x if we were able to get back to those prices. And I know what a lot of people are thinking. That is never going to happen. But at the end of the day, I still see decentralized platforms as something attractive, something that people may want to use, especially everything that happened in the last year with centralized platforms, with the falling of FTX and with the downfall of other exchanges. I see Uniswap and platforms alike surviving and thriving. 
in the next bull market. Now, another crypto exchange that has been very popular in the past has been PancakeSwap. And although PancakeSwap has close to a 6% gain today, in the last couple of months, we have seen that it's been bleeding out. It's having much more volatile drops compared to other decentralized exchanges. And overall, I feel like the Uniswap chart looks much more healthier than PancakeSwap. I mean, just look at this drop. PancakeSwap had from $4.60 to $1.70 just this year. And if we go back and look at the Uniswap price, you will see that Uniswap price has been trading lateral. So again, it's just doing what the rest of the crypto market is doing. That drop in PancakeSwap is due to them dropping the rewards that people earn from putting their tokens on the website and staking them or trying to earn some type of liquidity from their tokens. Obviously, the reason why people want to have their tokens on PancakeSwap is so that they could get high returns. But now that they're changing that, people are running away from PancakeSwap and they're going to be looking for other alternatives and why not Uniswap? I mean, if we look at what other decentralized cryptos are above Uniswap, you're not going to find them. Again, we have Litecoin, Tron, Shiba Inu, Avalanche, Dai, which is stable coins, um, Rat BTC, Cosmos, and down here we have Uniswap. I mean, you don't really have much better options in using a decentralized platform other than Uniswap. So in my opinion, in terms of decentralized platform coins, I think Uniswap is the top one. And I think that right now it should be perceived as like the blue chip coin for that space for those decentralized platforms i may be incorrect again i'm not a financial advisor i'm definitely not your financial advisor so take what i say with a grain of salt this is just my opinion of how i see things and where i plan to allocate my funds that i have right now on decentralized platforms i started getting out of pancake swap a few months back i already started seeing a drop and since i haven't really seen much building on pancake swap i stopped feeling confident that they're going to thrive in the next bull run but uniswap is one platform that is still trying to stick to their guns they're still trying to build in a way that includes their lp providers so that they don't get unhappy and go to other platforms which i find very important especially during a bear market i'd like to know what you think about uniswap is this a coin that you hold do you interact with uniswap on the daily i know people use decentralized platforms a lot if uniswap is that platform you like to use tell me what do you most like about it aside from just leaving a comment on this video i would really like to know because I plan on starting to use Uniswap, which I haven't. I think I probably used it once or twice in the past to trade Ethereum for another crypto. But aside from that, I haven't been a big fan, but that's all starting to turn around now. If you'd like to watch more videos that has to do with Uniswap, videos that has to do with other crypto, please don't forget to hit like below, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification button so I can let you know when I drop the next one. Let me know what you guys think about Uniswap, what you think about everything that was said today. Also, let me know what other crypto coins you would like for me to talk about on this channel. As always, I'd like to thank you for staying to the end. This is the Intelligent Investor channel and I'll see you on the next one.